Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Dinosaur and the Dude, the only podcast in the fucking world with the shittiest audio with the most amazing content. Love that you all are listening to us, and we really appreciate it, so sit back and relax as we start this episode. Hey, I got a couple of questions for you. Are you looking for awesome stuff to listen to while you're on the road, doing exercise, mowing the yard, watching clouds float by, um, you know, memorizing your numbers to pi? Awesome. Uh, you know, that's, by the way, uh, are you trying to uh, find a uh, off the wall things to check out that you know happen to be something that somebody else is talking about that you felt kind of like oh man nobody discussed these kind of things or are you like looking for are you like four four months deep into the new year and looking for a calendar still are you looking for uh shirts or bags or hats you know with cool stuff on it in 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 a cool logos or something like that and you just don't know where to go have no fear we've got you covered all you've got to do is go to the dinosaur and the dude.com that's it that's it just just get on your keyboard or on your phone or on your tablet or yell across the room for someone else to do it for you and just go there go to the dinosaur and the dude.com i would spell it for you but i'm too lazy there, though, you will find all of the Dinosaur and the Dude episodes and, that's right, and the merch. So that calendar you're looking for, got it. It's there. Shirts, there too. Hats, yep. What about a backpack? Mm-hmm. Just go to the dinosaurandthedude.com for all your amazing needs to be filled want to hear some off the wall comments about some topics that you didn't really even think about somebody was going to mention there you go and it's all audio you know you know total as we talked about before orthodox podcast all audio so you can listen to it on the go you don't have to worry about looking at anything you can listen to it till you lose your hearing. It's so much content. We're on season hey. two. So you've got at least 80 um, episodes that you can listen to. Uh, all about, you know, somewhere between, you know, an hour, two hours. So you got it. You on a long road trip? We got you. The dinosaur and the dude.com. Are you talking? Check it out and enjoy. You're talking. Oh, no. This is on, yeah. My speakers are. Mm -hmm. Hey, there you are. No, you're not. I thought I heard humming, like you do. <sighs> really? We're gonna start. We're gonna start this off this way. This is this okay. is what's happening. Oh, there you are. Hi. Bro. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did you break the internet? Uh, yes, you did. Speakers. Here. Hi. Hi. Okay. Is today the day? <laughs> yeah. Today is the day. Are you at doing this, okay? At this. Yeah, my computer locked up, so I had to restart everything. So, oh. like going through and finding the settings that are should be in place and clicking them. So one of them being turning the speakers, turning this back to recognizing my speakers instead of my the the one it keeps defaulting to. But in any case, yeah, first world shit. <laughs> right, right. Uh, okay. It's real, man. I'm telling you. Set. Uh, nope, do not this. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why my clock keeps doing that. That's not even right. 
What the hell? It's because the sun isn't real anymore. So. Well, the no, my I have to look and see why it started doing that, and it keeps going to East Coast. Sweet, you moving? God no, tried that once. East Coast, I mean not East Coast, West Coast. Oh, you tried West Coast? Yeah. Well, I considered it for like a weekend. Was it and... was it not gonna work out? Nope. Yeah, it's it's just crazy. I, I it doesn't I can't move enough cocaine to support <laughs> life on the West Coast. It's just it's, it's just it's beyond silly expenses. It is silly expensive, I agree. It's it's be it's just like wait, I gotta it's pay banana fucks. I gotta pay taxes for what? Oh, okay. Okay. Like wow. I don't even have enough to pay attention. Like <laughs> I got to pay taxes for that <laughs> and then still wake up to the possibility that it's all on fire. Okay. Or nah. falling into the ocean. Yeah. I wonder okay. when that's going to happen. I don't. I, but yo, I, I just don't. It's, 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 there's not enough incentive to be on the, the West Coast. Like, it's I agree. Not. Especially I don't if have you're... the figure for it. Like they'd I mean, be trying to push me back into the ocean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, but I mean, especially if you realize that, okay, if that does happen, you're kind of sitting on the West Coast anyway already. So why get in the, why be a part of the under coast? When you yeah, so I'm a, thinking that, you know, where you, I'm at in Texas, yeah, uh, when, when the um, doomsday glacier finally just kaputs, okay, that's uh, it. Okay. we're going to have, I'm going to have some oceanfront property. Mm. Mm. I'm not mad at it. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> I mean, it'll do thing. nothing but up my my home equity. So. Yeah. Right. So we think. Who knows? I don't know. Who, right. I don't know. But in you know, <laughs> for whatever it's worth. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the dinosaur and the dude. Uh. Yeah. Yo. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. How are, how, how, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be right. I got to go grab a gummy. Okay. Can you just hold on for just a second? I'm yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. We just, yeah. You know, before we get into it, I'm just going to drop a disclaimer while she gets the gummy because this is a perfect spot for it. Cause I'm predicting that we're, we're going to, we're going to, um, talk about some, some, some things. Okay, everyone, before we get started into this episode, uh, whatever we might be talking about might be triggering. So here's the warning. Just be mindful of what we are saying is definitely something that we're not trying to trigger you on, but just some of the topics might be a little iffy. Yeah, exactly. That's the word I was trying to say. Fragile, delicate. Yeah. And we're not saying that you are. It's just that some of the content might mm. trigger somebody in a certain it's way. It's offensive. We do get talk it. about, we talk about different things that happen to people that could be salt or somebody could be killed or We do try or, to give trigger warnings though. So I'll yeah. give you the quick disclaimer. Yeah. So um, here's the, yeah. So yeah, you all listen to her. The dinosaur is going to go over the disclaimer because I can't because I don't give a fuck. She cares way more. <laughs> she cares way more than I do, even though she'll say the opposite. So you all That's just right. listen to the disclaimer. It's here for your benefit. Here's the dinosaur. Also, everything that we're saying in our episodes, unless we state otherwise, is all for entertainment. And there's no uh, like, there's nothing that we're giving away as as advice or uh, of a matter of fact that. You should go out in the world and do your own thing. We're basically saying we're not we're not responsible for whatever fuck ups you 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 uh, experience after listening to us and trying to do whatever the fuck we're talking about. That's on you. Okay. All right. No, she'll she'll finish out the rest of the disclaimer. Um, we don't know shit, and we don't try to say that we know shit. Um, we like the internet, and it likes us, so we play together sometimes, but. 
don't take anything that we say to heart. Don't take it as the gospel. Don't take it as an expert of any kind because we don't know shit. We just like to hang out and with y'all and talk about goofy shit or funny shit or scary shit or real shit or whatever shit. And um, it's, just, it's, it's all shit. Yeah. It's all shit with the audio shit, you know? So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty much, yeah. that's our moniker. Okay. Yeah. So, um, if you're, if we know that we're going to offend you, so we, we get that at some point we will offend somebody. And if we do, we're sorry, find another podcast. Not mm -hmm. that we don't want you here. It's just that if we're going to be in the habit of offending you, then we don't want to hurt your feelings. So, um, yeah. but if you're not 18, please don't listen to this. Mm. Um, and I, I think that that might be it. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was a hot mess. Mm. Mm. Right? Yesterday was brought to you by gummies. Gummies. <laughs> the time travel engine you didn't know you needed. Gummies. <laughs> Get them. Time travel at your own leisure. <laughs> I was a Most of the time, gummies life. will put you in the future. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, it was it was a crazy it was crazy. Aren't those bad? I mean, I've experienced that before, not on gummies, but I feel like it's a thing where you, it's a real bit of fuckery when you think you're, no, oh, today's not, today's not Thursday? No, today's Wednesday. For real? I've been going all day and it's Thursday, you know? You sure? Yeah. No, well, because I I took tomorrow everything. off and and Tuesday off because mm -hmm. I'm off on Monday, mm. so I have five whole days. And so I was thinking that tomorrow like was excited. my Friday, so yeah. is my last day is my last work day. Yeah. And so that made me excited. think it was Friday. I mm -hmm. was I was I was ready to go. And so here's also, I kind of had a little meltdown. I think okay. we talked about it last night, right? Okay. I got in a fight with dinner. Okay, yeah. Okay. And uh, you know, dinner had it coming. Well, I'm saying, you know, I dinner, mean, dinner sits around and expects you to enjoy it without anything to say. So it was dinner, unnecessary, actually. I mean, it was unnecessary comfort in the in the in <sighs> dinners. Yeah. So, and yeah. then I'm in I'm in the middle of the thing with the struggle with making dinner. Yeah. I was trying mm -hmm. to be nice mm -hmm. and make dinner for mm -hmm. my wife and. Mm -hmm. uh, it was whipping my ass and it was mm. laughing at me because I heard it. Mm. And then, <clears throat> so what had happened was, is that, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I got, I got, I got real mad. So I went and had a, I had a gummy. I was like, dinner, fuck yeah. this. I'm having a gummy. And at then dinner. like, it just kept getting worse. And so I was like, okay. this shit ain't fucking working. And so right. I went and had another gummy. And then before you know it, I was tripping balls, but I was all in for yesterday. I was yeah, like, I'm I mean, ready to go. I was waiting yeah. on you and waiting on you and waiting on you. And I was yeah. like, my God, what it's the me. hell? It's, yeah, it's me. It's me. I was like, how what dare, is his problem? How dare I make you wait? Um, yeah, so it's a good thing. And see, see everyone, I did predict well. And so, yeah, it's a good thing we put the disclaimer before all that. So uh, gummies particularly, I've, are delicious. I've heard. Yes they they have a means of of for people that think they have they have people thinking they have a good grasp on a clue and then they <laughs> and then they immediately find out the ride they're on for and it typically is this ain't doing nothing or this isn't enough and then you just don't allow that other minute that only the other minute that it took before it kicks in. Right, right. But it's but it's too late. You've had your second or third. But so and by that patience time, is not my friend these days. Oh no, I get it. I get it. Can't like, be I'm your so roid ragey, ragey. Ugh. Yeah. You're Oof. roid ragey. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Fucking and so no. be it. I mean, you're on some things that uh are gonna facilitate that, you know? Like I know um, why they told me not to just not mm. to go out in the public. And mm -hmm. it wasn't because of my fucking my own health. It mm -hmm. was the health of like ignorant people all around me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm just gonna start cleaning house. 
Yeah, I. That is an interesting thing. I think that when you get to, um, because you're at the same time, you're kind of feeling like, man, I'm experiencing myself in ways that aren't really too comfortable. Ugh. Right. Um, but at the same time, it's like. What do, what do I do? I got. I guess I got to make the best of this. How do I make the best of this? I don't fucking know. But Gummies. this, this, yeah. I, let me, let me kind of deaden this. And the next thing you know, it's like, ah, fuck, that's too much. Well, I got to just gotta ride this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And by I was, ride, it was by ugly. ride this shit. I mean, let me call him up. Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm like, hey, bro. Uh, for yeah. real? Yeah. Are we doing it? No, we're not. Well, can we have like a spontaneous, you didn't know we were about to have an episode episode right now? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what we're kind of having over the phone then. Great. <laughs> that's what we're about to do. That's what it kind of boiled down to. And that's those golden moments that everybody misses on. But at the same time, who knows? It might have another life sometime, some, some way in, in the future. Speaking Were you of, recording it? Speaking of which, there's always gold for us. So I feel like now's a good time to talk about that goal. Okay, let's do it. We haven't done it yet, We're but by the time you hear this episode, okay. we will have done it. So again, mm -hmm. this, this time travel is brought to you by the dinosaur and the dude. By the time this episode drops, you will be able to find that we have a, a Patreon. <gasps> what? Yeah. Uh, so I figured we'd go ahead and just like pause right here and talk about why, because some people are like, why the fuck are you having a Patreon? Um, because their audio cannot get any fucking work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like, <laughs> it's not like you're putting, it's like now you want people to pay for this bullshit? No, this is, this is fucking. <laughs> Oh, what? No, I'm going to stick to the free. And that's Actually, fine. It has you nothing to do with that. It has to do with yeah. the, the juicy bits that yeah, we can't you can... put out on regular media. Yes. In no way, uh, in, by us saying that we're, we're, we're going to be promoting and using and having a Patreon, um, in no way are we saying we're going to be, you're going to be losing out on the free shit that you're getting right now. None of right. this is going away. I think that the big difference you're going to see with that Deep is mix. the is yeah is the type of content, and so we have to play within the rules of every um, every every platform that we're published on, and so they all have rules, requirements, and restrictions that you have to meet. Or otherwise, you get strikes or bans, or you, you got to sit in time out for a good bit for three months or whatever the fuck Facebook does. You got to sit out. And so for us as a growing as a growing podcast and content creators, we're sort of like we this is the fragile time that we need to start building up our subscribers and our followers and our fan base and our blah, 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 blah. So then we can get deeper into the algorithms and people can find us even more. Well, it's kind of hard to do if you get banned or striked. That's true. And uh, since I don't know how to be a fucking lady, you know. Yeah, right. Since we have somebody that can come on with a fill in the blank amount of gummies in her system, who knows? <laughs> but aside from that, though, <laughs> if you fair, get that fair part, point. <laughs> yeah, if you get that part and you couple it with the people that we're we're hoping to have conversations with in the future, we run into issues where we don't want to have to go through and painstakingly edit out content after God the fact you. God and or preemptively censor people that we're having a conversation with and say, hey, kind of tone down on this when you're talking to us or tone to this. We don't want to we don't want to set any kind of conversation within parameters that somebody has to restrict themselves right. from freely conversing with us. That's the sure. whole point of having conversations. Um, and that's what they are. They're conversations. We're right. We recognize right. that, that it's not, it's not, we're not like professional interviewers. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not, mm -hmm. um, I just, 
I can't do it. Like I'm just, yeah. I'm, I can't, my brain can't stay on one topic for that long. So like, yeah. I'm, I'm not a good interviewer. I, I realize that, but I'm a great conversationalist and I love to yeah. talk to people and hear their stories. And I love to ask them questions and blah, 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 right. blah. So right. that's what we want to do. Yeah. And so Patreon would be the way we can put out uncensored content without having to worry about the restrictions and the rules that we have with other platforms that we have to deal with. So the free stuff will still be out there, but it'll be censored. Now, before you boo and throw rotten tomatoes and lettuce, keep in mind that every episode of The Dinosaur and the Dude you've ever heard, whether it's the very first one or this one, has been censored or not censored, has been edited. We edit every one of these episodes. We cut out content. There were conversations that the dinosaur and I have, or this isn't that dead dead silence, or when one of us goes to to pineapple mm -hmm. or rainbow, we cut, out, <laughs> we cut out the blank space in this and that. So it's some, there's editing in every episode. I think that the difference is with Patreon, we can get around the censoring, and correct, and that's where that's where the benefit will come. Now they can't hold we're, me down. That's what we're saying. We, yeah, I'm so a liability. So we know that censored and uncensored. Un, we know that uncensored content probably is not going to always be the big draw. So we will probably figure out some other things like, okay, this this level gets 10% off merch, or this one gets some behind the scene bloopers. Yeah, we'll We'll make it juicy for everybody. For right now, though, that's the main the main reason for our Patreon was and still will be uh, until proven otherwise is to have content up that we don't have to worry about um, sugarcoating for all the other platforms that we that we're on. OK, right. so there's that. Now we've cleared the air with that. So so we will have that out and there'll be. Uh, There'll be uh, social media and promotions and all that kind of stuff where you can find us on there too. Okay, great, good. Word. Glad we glad we had this talk, everybody. Yeah. Thanks. Go tell your friends. Looking good. at you, Norway. Yes, please. Hey everyone, it's the dude. And uh, I don't know if you picked it up on previous episodes, but uh, I'm learning another language. And I have to admit, I suck at it. I've been trying to do it for years, and I suck at it. And maybe you do too. I don't know. I don't know how you are. Maybe you're even thinking about learning a new language. Cool. Let me tell you about Pimsleur. They are a solid learning option that you should really look into if you're trying to brush up on a language, learn a new language, or whatever your language journey is. I use Pimsleur. I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't use it and didn't think it was pretty awesome. You can learn at your own pace. The audio lessons are about 30 minutes, and you have flashcards and timed uh, little speed rounds whatever floats your boat as far as being able to get you to learn the language you're doing it on your own pace but the way that Pimsleur does it with these lessons that you can do at least once a day they're great you're bound to get results and that's why you can go on our website the dinosaur and the dude scroll down to the bottom whatever page you're on scroll down to the bottom look for the Pimsleur link click on that and get a week for free Yes, an entire week of Pimsleur for free. You start using that, you're going to start learning the language. And you're probably going to get it confident enough to start speaking it within 30 days. So take it from me. I use it. I love it. I wouldn't be recommending it. Use our affiliate link on The Dinosaur and the Dude. Click on that link. Get a week for free of Pimsleur. Start learning the language you've been screwing around and not trying to learn the right way. Start learning it and get going speaking another language. All right. That was it. Do it. The dinosaur and do.com. Click on the link. Get a week free. If you don't, you're absolutely nuts. Now back 
to the episode. Uh, so aside hey. from you roid raging, um, I'm either every, super tired or I'm yeah. super like fucking pissed at shit for super no amped. reason at all. It's wow, so much fun amped. to be in my house right now. Yeah, you're going to be a my wife. A, she deserves gonna a goddamn a, medal. You're going to be a patty. I mean, I'm hoping not because that all ends in murder, but I'm just saying. <laughs> That's my retirement plan. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> my retirement plan is to live at a place where meals are already incorporated in the stay. Yeah. And I get room. free medical, dental. Yeah. You got a room, you got a library, you might have a roommate. I can go to college for free. You might not have a roommate. You've got, I've got a rec center that's available, not yeah. all the time, but at least an hour of the day. A commissary. And I've got people, yeah, I got a little shop or a shoppy, if you want to put an E at the end of it. Look, all the and pussy I, I want, right? Okay, okay. And okay. I look great in orange. Some places I've have already all been the on death row. Want. Some places have all the pussy you want. Some places have all the bougina you want. Bougina. So, Bouj <laughs> So, so I'm just saying, I mean, it's got legs. Yeah. And you, whenever and I you told got, Laura that the first time she was like, yeah. what? No. Yeah. And you got I said, no, baby, no. I'm serious. Yeah. If, well, if I wouldn't she... have met you, like that would be my retirement plan. I was going to go in. Yeah. And like, whenever it was time, well, whenever I felt like I wanted to retire, I was okay. going to go into a federal bank and I was going to hold it up for like $5,000. Okay. That, that may get me in prison for a long time. But like a really low security prison, you know, where they're really? still passing out pudding yeah, cups. You only did five thousand, so it's yeah. really low. You only did five thousand, and you had no gun or anything. You right? Just no. Said, Give me, fill up my bag. Do you have anything to threaten me with? No. Yeah, my words. I didn't, <laughs> brush, my, I didn't brush my teeth today. So do you want this halitosis? <laughs> no, man. Correct. <laughs> Give me this five thousand. Okay, ma'am. Both hands on the on the counter. Oh, y'all got here fast. And then, uh, and then I would just be like, I'm going to be in the lobby. I'm just going to go chill. I'm going to be in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, hey, I don't want anybody getting tear gas. Yeah, nobody, no pain. hostages or nothing. Let them know I'm going to be in the lobby. I'm just going to go okay? and eat my sandwich. I brought my little sandwich with me. I'm gonna be... Make sure I know book and take some time. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> they can come in casual. Then nobody, yeah. Okay. I got an extra sandwich in case one of them is yeah. hungry. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good behavior. Hey, I gave you a sandwich. Can you, can you tone down those charges? I did yeah. give you a sandwich. What's the least amount I can do yeah. to get a good solid stint? I don't know. In a federal I don't, prison. I don't know. Wait, if they do have good security teams. You're, you're always, you're, your house is never going to get, well, it might get robbed, but they got good security at these locations yeah, no, yeah. and it's here's the prison. thing like i'm a pretty chill all person prison. i can get along with a whole bunch of people and i'm very yeah. intimidating so mm. maybe i could like you know start a business in there <laughs> like you know so i don't know something yeah you were turning all the the the, the beautiful sides of prison down uh, it's like a hey this is a good retirement plan all right cool yeah, this, this is good Shit, i ain't right. gotta say nothing good. hell i already been putting in so that's a one, this is going to be a really sick segue, but that's a interesting aspect of it, especially when it comes down to me just stumbling across this uh, May, February, March, April, May. Yeah, this month, uh, just the eighth of this month, it was released uh, what families need. Oh. You know where I'm going with this? Uh, yes. Did you, did you did you see this? I saw something like it, but go it's, ahead. Go it's ahead. It's what families need to live comfortably in our great fucking country. In the in the top five states, I'm not even looking at the top five states. I'm just looking at. Like I wouldn't. I don't even make enough to. I mean, all. okay. With inflation and shit, I don't even make enough to survive in Mississippi. I mean, and that's okay, about yeah, yeah, as yeah. as you can yeah. get. Yeah, yeah. That's that was yeah. So you've seen it. Yeah. Mississippi is the lowest at one hundred and seventy eight thousand. One hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars. Every to live comfortably. Every state after that. It's like I said, you 
kind of have to have some sort of assumption of, hmm, yeah, this is why people are selling drugs. And again, I'm not advocating that at all. I'm and this is saying, why people are buying drugs. I'm just saying, I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying that like when these stats are taken under consideration and you're looking at where people are doing it, it doesn't take a degree rocket science i don't need to poll anybody yeah, to really like to that. really i mean for me to really come to a uneducated assumption that not everybody in hawaii is making two hundred and ninety five thousand dollars in order to live comfortably no which is I mean, there's such so, a drinking problem there there's a lot so, of alcoholics yeah life. so there's a lot of uncomfortable people is what that amounts to in this world well, why does yeah, it have to in be this, this world. hard right in the world yeah, yeah. because like if you if you just stick to first world problems level though yeah it's crazy um 209 in florida 209 in in, in north carolina 265 in 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 colorado how much california i just i'm just curious because it's bananas 77. what's it who's it who to what 277. That's it though? That's it for real? Because yeah, houses so, cost like millions for like a one yeah, bedroom. Yeah, so that's the thing that was interesting to me because the highest I did not expect to be the highest. Vermont. Is it? Uh, mm, no, it's close. It's close to Vermont. Connecticut? 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 No. <laughs> Connecticut? Really? No, uh, so for, for so Connecticut is higher than Vermont. So okay. Vermont, so Vermont is two forty eight. Okay. Okay. Connecticut is two eighty. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yeah, I rolled my R's that aren't there. Connecticut, uh, that's two eighty. The highest. It's sandwiched in between the two. The highest, Massachusetts. Really. Three oh one. The birthplace of America, right? No, that was uh, three Pennsylvania. Oh, one. no. Okay, I'm just going to be broken. What are you? What are you? What are you doing to to get feet picks? I'm, 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 I'm telling you, it's got legs. Yeah, really? really, feet picks okay. has legs. Literally, yeah. literally, it has legs. Mm. So. So I'm going to need um, you to send me a couple of snappy snaps of your face. So here's the thing. Okay, comfortable. Okay, when it's saying to live comfortably. Comfortable was defined as an annual income required to cover the 50-30-20 budget. So allocating 50% <laughs> of earnings to necessities okay. such as housing and utility costs, 30 to discretionary spending, and 20 to savings or investments. What so, the fuck is a savings account these days? So in order to do those things, at that percentage breakdown, that's how you would have, to, that's how much you would have to make. You think that's why people are just like, I don't fucking care anymore. Like, I just don't care. Fuck it. Fuck you. Because it's <laughs> like, a, I don't care. Yeah, because it's such a moving target, right? It's like, okay, if I got to live at a 50, 30, 20 budget. So people are only thinking of that 50 a lot. They're like, For okay, sure, I want to yeah. make enough so that I can provide housing and utilities for that housing, whether it's an apartment, a house, whatever, condo, whatever the fuck you live in, you want to be able to afford that and the utilities that are um, associated with it. Discretionary spending is like, okay, I got to eat. So for a lot of people, that 20% for your savings and investments is not even in play. Right. It's not even in, in play. And then for a lot of people, there is no 30. It's just 80, 20. Right. You know, 80 going into where you got to live and in, in utilities and 20 just to eat and put clothes on. Now, if you have a family, who knows how that fucking breakdown is done? I don't even understand how people have kids these days. I really don't. It's like that, if that's your breakdown, like, oh, okay. Well, um, and, and, okay, and so they say, like for Massachusetts, right? It's three hundred and one. I'm sorry, I, they 
they just said 301,000. It's actually $301,184. I guess that's important. The $184. Is that $184 so, about to break yeah, me. Yeah. So it says Massachusetts is the most expensive state to live comfortably in. A family with two working parents and two children need a total family income of about 301,000. Oh, well, I don't understand it. I mean, it's, I know it's all capitalism, right? It's, uh, it's consumerism and capitalism and all that happy horse. Shit. Yeah. I mean, I guess, but, but if you look at the breakdown, that's 30% of what you're making. Going back into consumerism, you know, the discretionary spending, the rest of it is like, I mean, okay, let's again, the 20 cent for, for savings and investment has no play. I mean, the bulk of it is just the necessities of housing and utility costs. Right. It, it, that's just having a, a, a way to live. And that's a breakdown, like they were saying with the Massachusetts breakdown, that's a breakdown with a family of two working parents. So it's not a stay at home parent at all. It's two working parents and two children. Right. So both parents are working. So I guess you can assume from that they're both making relatively 150,000 each in order to pull this off. But there's a catch to it, right? I mean, when like back in the day, like when dinosaurs roamed the earth and I, and I had Tyler, um, okay. you know, our daycare mm -hmm. costs about $400 a week. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking ton. Back yeah. then, that was a lot, and now it's it's way worse. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it it's, almost makes sense for people not to work at least one parent because they got to stay home and take care of the kids, right? And that and that's the whole that's the whole point of doing that. It, it's it's one thing where it's like, okay, yeah, it, yeah, sure, this is more, this is probably above it, absolutely. You're you're spending time with your kid, you're having that more relatable time. And, and you know his impression and and you're able to take care of your kid and that's that that's precious right not really um, i mean that's right. glamorizing it i mean that's, <laughs> i mean but i'm saying that's where people are saying yeah i'm gonna stay home with my kid right if you if there's somebody else is like yeah no nah, i'm not doing that they're gonna be working that's pretty much at the start of it that's the discussion that's the mindset yeah i want to be there right. for little timmy and timmy needs yeah, we don't want to have Timmy getting, you know, getting getting his input from somebody we don't know. I mean, yeah, we want to have him so it gets recognized at the home. And in the in, in the beginning, yeah, you want to have that with your kid, right? But it's a huge uh, stressor to be at home with your kid. Right. But then also the flip <laughs> is the stressor of being at a daycare that you can't see. And that's why you got that's cameras. Crazy. So now you're at work and you're looking at the <sighs> camera, the daycare cam. So you can look at your kids. So you're staring at your kid the whole time. So now you're sitting there thinking, okay, I'm staring at my kid instead of doing work. I could be doing it at home. Now I'm feeling kind of guilty because I'm just staring at him at another place with strangers. Some people are cool with that. Some people Watching aren't. him be neglected. Awesome. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, I'm giving him cash to do something I could be doing for free. And so there's that discussion where people would stay home, but it's kind of hard to do when you're in Massachusetts because you know, okay, if my wife is out there making the money and I'm staying home, I, she's gotta be making, or he's gotta be making $301,000. Otherwise something's going to give. Right. And I, I go back to work real quick. So I either got to figure out something I can do at home or, feet. or, or leave. And yeah, if that's foot feet shooting, you know, feet picks, then so be it. So, cause that's the thing that it's like, in a way you could look at a certain, you could look at a per person a certain way, but at the same time, when you're looking at like, yo, um, I got to make these ends meet. Mm -hmm. then you're kind of looking at it from a different perspective and it's kind of easy it's not even kind of it's easy to cast the cast the judgment on someone when you're not in that situation right when you are able to find a 
sweet ass place to live and you've got three roommates that you know now you're cutting it three ways right everything okay cool a lot but, of people have to do that these days right America. and that's what i'm going to say and that's the and there lies the other alternative where it's like okay we can get this really big place can the, three living. Of us can, the three of us can live in it split everything three ways and as long as we're cool and up front and everybody's good with it we should be fine and technically that works um but that's not that's not a, a that's not a living situation for everybody. Right. Well, I think that people are, you know, families way back in the day, families used to stay together. You know, they might mm -hmm. not be in the mm -hmm. same house. They would be mm -hmm. like on the same property or whatnot, mm -hmm. but communal living was a real thing because you needed a, you know, you needed the community yeah. to make everything work. You know, you got to make the butter, you got to make the cheese, right. you got to cut the wood, you got to build the house, you got to, yeah, sure. you know, Eat the animals and do the crops and the whole bit because we mm -hmm. couldn't go to a Whole Foods, you know, back mm -hmm. in the 1800s. Right. So, but with industry comes more burden. And with that, people, you know, then got independent and started to do their own thing and yeah, all that heavy yeah, shit. And I just want to go back to the 1800s. Can we please just go back? I don't know. It's kind of rough for some people back then. I don't, okay. 1800s was Wi Fi. What about that? <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I do love the internet. So, 1800s with Wi Fi. I'm like, kind of Mormon ish, you know? I'm thinking Not of Mormon. Equality. What's it called? What's it called? I'm Not thinking Mormon. Of Amish. It's Amish ish. Wait, it's Amish. Amish ish. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of equality. You're thinking Wi Fi. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, we'd be breaking down to like Mennonites or something where, we yeah, yeah, the, yeah. We accept a little bit of technology because I think. They do in the Amish. Like, I'm not going to pay for my internet service, but if I can get your Wi Fi from my place and go for it, <laughs> like fucking communal Wi Fi. Wow. No, everybody would have to have their own Wi Fi. I don't trust motherfuckers, and motherfuckers are nasty. You know what I mean? I mean, uh uh, ain't doing it. I mean, ain't technically, doing it. that's what people have at work. So, and you know what? If Tyler was still living at home, yeah. I would make him pay for his own Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm like, your digital footprint yeah. is not fucking up my world, okay? Yo, it's like, I mean, it's 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 easy to do. You make your phone a hotspot and you just go off of that. But true, true. Um, yeah, it's it's a very interesting to look at a map like this and just like, yo, um, yeah, this is. It's sad and it's scary. And, you know, I mean, trends since beginning of mm -hmm. whenever this was being tracked, it's showing that it's just going up and up and up and up and up. But is it? And, 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 and this is, by the way, for everyone, this is something that we both do to each other. Devil's because advocate. Because, because if we were all about holding hands and on the same train of thought in anything right. and not trying and testing and and putting the spotlight on what each other says, then this wouldn't be a conversation at all. It'd just be like a railroad show and you know, we're all going the right direction. But <laughs> yeah, what I mean by that is it, it's like when you bring up other time periods and whatnot, I don't know. So I'm just, that's why I'm saying, is it, was the same disparity in, in cost of living this way even 30, 40, 50, you know, 80 years ago. 80 years ago, I would say, yes, it's it's vastly different because the, now yeah. we're more dependent on grocery stores. Corporate America has us okay. by our balls. Okay, okay so, the, so the big switch for, you, for what you're, from what I'm hearing, and again, if I got it wrong, let me know. Oh, I will. Um, when things started clicking around that people weren't able to do things on their own. Right, self-sustain it became a thing or self-sustained in the sense of a community that would it when they didn't have that small town aesthetic to everything right that's when things started being that's when your balls and your ovaries start getting put in a vice because mm -hmm. then you were relying on say, yeah. on bigger corporations to sustain and satiate your needs 
Right. Whereas before, you can go to Fred and Linda. They got that good cow, and it produces a shit ton of milk. And you know they can and then titties can, for everybody. Just right. titties everywhere. It, you it can was bring a good time. Stuff. Yeah, you can bring your eggs, and they, and they take some of your eggs because they don't have any egg producing. Uh, or you make potatoes, and chickens. they make eggs. Right, and it was a, there was a slight bartering and also a communal sustainment that was going on. See, and I love that. I, it yeah, shows and I mean, that's a you very work together. You feel accomplished because you're taking right. care of yourself right. and, and it's, around you. It's good and stuff. it's very utopian. It's very it is all, utopian, isn't it? Yeah, we're all living, caring for each other. We're all living for the greater good of each other. We're all doing these things and you take into account everyone else and, the, and you know, hey, you good? Hey, do you need any, you need any uh, sugar cane to make any sugar? Because I got extra. You sure? You, okay, cool. Let <laughs> you, me know. Hey, so you, just, you change oh, okay. your mind. You change yeah. your mind. Let me know. You know where and, I'm at. Yeah. And so bring back, your horse and buggy. I really yeah. want to go back to horse and buggy days. And Can you please where, do that? Like literally go move into a fucking Amish village and keep doing that <laughs> shit there. It's like, you know that shit exists, right? You can just go to the Amish village. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gay, so I, I they won't accept <laughs> oh, me. Right. I'm sorry. I'll be that's like, uh, right. I'm not trying to fuck your children or anything, but um, I'm also not that's... trying to not fuck my wife. So <laughs> there's that. Right. Okay, you can join a commune. You just have to stop this other lady. <laughs> Quit with. humping things. I'm sorry, you, I can't. You and the other lady have to stop bumping gums don't even live with each other <laughs> can you do this no we can't and, actually and your, and your response is basically look i was gonna learn dutch because i know y'all love speaking dutch but yeah the gum bumping i gotta bump gum sorry i gotta go <laughs> I, I gotta do it i can't i'm like the last thing know. you want me to do is to get up get up with your sons i'll be wrecking the shit out of that yeah. not in that way not in that way oh, i just okay. be like, I'm just oh. like oh, wow oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Jesus. To get up in your sons what no, no get up in your sons no, you know like son. if you're not if if you say if i had to move to somewhere and they said you couldn't be gay yeah i would be like okay fine then i'm gonna act like i'm straight not sex wise but and then i would just start fucking with people just Wait. fucking them up that's like <laughs> Okay. Somebody's They'd gonna be like, steal, somebody's gonna steal this you. show. Somebody's gonna steal this show or uh -huh. steal it. But that's a good premise. I would watch that. Like <laughs> somebody, somebody pretending to be straight just so they can live in a in, in an, an Amish community. Commune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's what? That's a the, great idea. Like fucking hell! Like how did you even introduce? your wife it's like oh it's like you don't want to be like you don't want to be sister We're yeah like really i was just gonna close. say sister i was like but you don't want to you don't want to make it completely when Lisa heavy. was in arkansas sorry god that came out really oh well no. i do love me some arkansas oh, i'm just that's saying 181. But that's 181 i don't even know what 181 is 181,000. To live oh in okay i got you i got you i got you yeah I got you. that's that's over mississippi mississippi 180 181,000. What's what's Texas, please? 201. Really? Mhm. Mm okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ah. I'm going to go and ask for a raise. <laughs> you could be like, "Hey, uh so can you check, send me the source link, please, cuz I'm going to need to and done. You got it. Um <laughs> And you were like, hey, so I'm looking at this thing here. Um, <laughs> you sent it. <laughs> I can't sustain my life. And I feel like you guys should be helping me do that. Um, let me zoom in for you. See, Texas. Uh, 201K. Can't miss it. Big, bold letters and numbers. Uh, what are we going to do about that? <laughs> it's like, yo, it's, it's crazy. When you look at the map, it's crazy. And then some of them, I don't know how much that's like. Like Alaska's 243. Is it? Alaska is extremely expensive to live in only because of logistics. Oh, right. I was going to, I was going to say, oh, I forget logistics wise. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, I mean, yeah. eggs cost a fucking ton. Yeah. You know, not only are 
you cannot grow you you cannot raise chickens out there because it's yeah, too yeah. cold yeah, but you have to yeah. transport very fragile yeah. fragile eggs you know so like on I, ice roads <laughs> you know so like i look at like you know right up in there with the homesteading and the, and the prepping and the, it's i got really into i don't watch it nearly as much as i used Afro to but I got, no 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 life below zero and i got really into that like okay there's some people that have been living out there there's some families that have been living out there and then there's some new people that are like give it a you know, let me give it a shot living Good out luck. in the and yeah, and like, enjoy here's what I'm gonna life. do. I'm gonna you enjoy this. having I'm a penis like, your life because it's fixing a fall. Off. I gotta, I gotta go find some food. I'm starting to run out of food. It's like this, and I'm just like, I'm just rubbing my hands together. This, this motherfucker's gonna die today. You know, you like, <laughs> like shit. You know, I'm like, yeah, you like just NASCAR and the fuck out of it. I'm only here for the wrecks, and so. <laughs> ah, it was interesting because don't let your children go outside. Okay, that's good eating. Yeah, yeah, right. It was this <laughs> one guy. He was raising um, sled dogs, and and he was, and you're right about the logistics part. I forgot about it. He has to fly his dog food in. Yeah, and it, it was like five, three to five thousand dollars that he was paying just for the not even his. He's not eating shit. Is just for the dogs, and yeah. it's like yeah, you can't really go to the store and get mm -hmm. get a lot of stuff so yeah you're right i forgot i forgot about that aspect of it yeah that, in the dead of winter you can't and you know they're only going to haul so much over here so right. what they do have there's a demand for you know they're very right. smart about what they what they bring in because sure. they don't want to waste anything and why would you yeah. right and so, that was always the big thing that i noticed with that show is like a lot of them are of that mindset you don't waste right. anything well it's just like whenever you live out in the country yeah like yeah. I grew up in the country. I can't tell you I how bad of a fucking spanking I got because I left the cap off of the toothpaste. Yeah, you and it dried that. the toothpaste right. out. Right, right. My parents had to drive. It was like ten miles into town, which back yeah. then was a long damn way. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's just interesting when you see stuff like this and you're like, God damn it! All right, cool. Thanks for letting me know. Um, I'll be. I'll be on the street corner. Um, <laughs> right. I'll be sucking dick for change. Yeah, it's like, okay. I mean, it's clean. Do you really want this asshole? It's, <laughs> it's a very interesting thing, right? Because you're I guess. Well, because uh, because people will look at because people on the other side of the windshield will look and say, Oh, can't look people. It's just like that person woke up, like that person left junior high or high school. It's like, I'm going to go be a prostitute. No shit happened in between then and now that the life went a certain way. And, right. you know, can somebody and say, isn't well, that no. sad that that's even a possibility that, yeah. that people are going to struggle that much? I mean, I realize that. Yeah, people are going to struggle and people are going to make it and people are, you know, whatever. Everybody's different. Yeah, there's and for a plethora of reasons. Mm -hmm. But to be in a position where you feel like you've got to go and sell your body to survive, that is some shit. I mean, but is it though? Because there's some people that look at it like, hey, it's a profession. And but that's the way they look at it. I'm talking about people that have no choice. Yeah, I mean, there's that there's because the fallback on that was like there's always a choice and some people you know first thing that comes out of somebody's mouth is there's always a choice you can go join the military say that to and... a foster kid in america you can't it, what's that i said say that to a foster child in america yeah you can't. right and so there's those aspects to it and that's what i mean by it. there's aspects to the story of somebody that you see that's not really a it's not really as clear cut as as what people stereotypically apply it because a lot of times there's people that just immediately assume that if you're on the street then it must be because of drugs and that right. that's 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 an easy narrative to you know get to the to sum up your book and get to the end of the story but that's not that's not the Always that's the case. The, I mean, yeah, that, that's not the case. I guess it could be a safe assumption, perhaps, 
but that doesn't mean that that's necessarily what's going on. Yeah, that's not the case because there's a lot, like a, not too long ago, you and I were talking about um, pharmaceuticals and how that can really fuck people up. And so mm -hmm. the best intentions that somebody has doesn't take into consideration how addictive this back pain med might be. Mm -hmm. And that thing might Ooh. be a thing with, that sends them off the rails in a way that they never <laughs> even assumed about themselves. And the next thing you know, they're doing whatever they need mm -hmm. to do to get that to function. Fixed. And that means selling all my shit. Okay, fine, because my back is fucked. And I can't right. afford the surgery, but I can afford these pills. No, I can't afford the pills. Okay, I can. I can. I know a guy that can get me those pills. Something okay. or something equivalent. Yeah. Okay. Or something out cheaper. Of those, yeah. And then before you know it, you're pills. literally smoking bleach. Right. He's out of those pills. Okay, but he's got me a, a an alternative. Okay, that alternative's got me really fucking. Okay, what can I do? You Have know, you seen sick? No, I, oh I, it, I've, I've considered watching it, but it's, it's like I get caught up in us all. It's this other part. terrible, but yeah. it is so good. And it's so eye opening. And, and that's the thing. It's like a person's narrative can be so far left from the intentions. Sure. And, and, it, and it doesn't take long for that, for that derailment to occur. And most of the time, yeah, it can happen fast, especially yeah. with synthetic drugs. Yeah, and most of the time, they don't even see it happening. Oh, for sure, yeah. Because they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're so caught up in the moment, right? Yeah, it's, it's you're caught very, up in the fix. Yeah, I mean, you're just like everything becomes a v. And it's like, okay, yeah. I need this, and I need to get this by going there. That's it's all terrible. that fucking matters. It's raining outside. It's freezing. I don't give a fuck. I need to go from point a to point b and whatever i need to do to and get hopefully to b, the faster the better yeah whatever i need to go do to get to b that's all that matters to me and and how can i sustain that yeah yeah what do i need to do to get that because then if it comes down to that i got x amount of dollars in order to make that happen and then once you're out of x now you got to figure out something else. Mm -hmm. and what that something else is <clears throat> might put you in a whole nother dynamic that you never even saw yourself in. Introducing and again, the crack lords. Is this yeah, where they come and, in? And it's like, it's not in no way am I saying any of this to excuse some of the actions that people take. It's just that even some of those actions that some of those people are taking, they never saw themselves taking those things either. It's Hey guys, this is the dinosaur from the dinosaur and the dude. And I want to talk about your headspace. And I also want to talk about headspace. We live in a very trying time and stress can get the best of us sometimes. And sometimes we just need somebody to talk to, and that's totally fine. Just go ahead and go over to our website, the dinosaur and the dude.com click on links and sponsors and look for headspace. There's a, there's a link there. You can click it and get seven days free. Um, you have to be right with your mind. Okay. You just, you got to talk about stuff. You got to get it out. You got to process it. There's way too much information coming into our brains these days than there is going out. So you need to find a, a therapist and just barf it all out and you'll feel better. <laughs> <Can't believe I'm> just... <laughs> so you can go to our website at the dinosaur and the dude.com and click on links and sponsors, then go down and check out Headspace. They're showing that they're proven to reduce stress by 14% in just 10 minutes. Imagine what you can do with 30 minutes. You would be so chill. You would be thanking us. And I really think that you should try it and let us know how it goes. Um, so yeah, go find a therapist and barf all over them verbally. Another thing that Headspace is going to do for you is give you seven days free of therapy. So go and check them out and get your seven days for free. That is faux free. Just okay. I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, you know, like I kind of am interested in conspiracies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yes, do you coach. think that the, do you think that the CIA introduced crack? Oh in, yeah. Uh, South. Yeah. It was uh, proven. California? Yeah. Okay. It was proven. Good, good. I was just making sure, you know, yeah, it was you proven. have a good head about you. 
Uh, yeah. So um, hi guys. By the way, hi. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know how you got stuck on this duty to listen right, to us right. and to. Oh, but good for you and welcome. And uh, maybe you'll get promoted one day. I don't. I don't know. So Requiem of a Dream is good. Is a good movie <laughs> to watch. That um, the a person going through drugs in a very very um downward spiral kind of way Great that's how dope sick is and it's terrifying yeah and it's exactly what happened um with the whole pharmaceutical uh, industry and all that good shit right now some some people are gonna be like what the fuck man okay fine there's some that are better out there than it but i really what some medicines or some pharmaceuticals? No, no, no. A, a show, a show that that a show that that I watched that does a good portrayal of things that occurred with the whole crack and CIA. Hey, you know what? If you if any of our listeners out there have uh, recommendations on what to watch, sure. you know, yeah, for like sure. conspiracy serial, I'm yeah. always hungry for some conspiracy serial. So. Feel um, free to yeah. send me a message. You, you got a brand of conspiracy cereal you want us to try? That I don't think we'll, that we'll I've never it. tasted. We'll now, taste if y'all lead me to like some Korean sex trap, you know, nothing, not a one, none of that. Like that, yeah. that's okay. not, that's not what I'm about. Okay. So, no, I don't like marshmallows. I, I will do actually, not like marshmallows in my conspiracy cereal. I <laughs> no, I will, I will uninvite you from oh, the podcast. Wow. Um, um but snowfall i i watched that that was a good series on, snowfall yeah somebody told me about something called cocaine bear and i don't know what it's about cocaine bear eh, no it's a movie in regards to this bear that ate a fuckload of cocaine and and ran amok okay um, but you said snowflake or snowfall snowfall is a series <laughs> um it's about that time period where crack hit in the crack I'm epidemic and I'm how sure. eventually you start to see the involvement of the cia and yep. it's based off it's based off of real people events. or or yeah real people in events and the amalgamation of those real people in events yeah uh, so it but it tells it from the u.s side um mm -hmm. it goes into south america but it tells it from the u.s why it was done and that it was like we're gonna fund wars and you know th there was this whole justification and it's necessary a justification to ruin people's lives are you fucking kidding me oh uh, it's a well i you know Ugh. watch watch snowfall at your own discretion then because i'm not saying you're gonna walk away feeling um, good about things yeah you know, it's a i didn't very, figure i would but you know i usually don't yeah. whenever it comes to conspiracial I mean, you like know, some people pretty fucked up. Yeah. Like some people talk about Breaking Bad and okay, there's that aspect of getting into it and how it, you know, again, I, I, I love Breaking Bad as well. It's great uh, from that aspect of it. Uh, but Snowfall, it Snowfall hit on a lot of different things in relation to gang activity and how that, mm. that tumultuous thing right there was a fine ripe way of cia saying here's this thing it's called crack you can do it and it just perfect Man, storm. you should do their marketing <laughs> perfect storm for how that worked out and the real person and people that were of um in relation to it it's, it's a very interesting it's very interesting because um from the especially from the cia's aspect when the you know kind of like what we were talking about last episode wait yeah last episode when we were talking about cogs in the machine you can see oh, you mean yesterday yeah right yeah. you can see where um you know as a cog in the machine right how this one agent realized he's just that his noble journey for right. what he thought he was doing it just revealed no really dude you're a cog in the machine and now we got a new machine running so you're obsolete we don't and that that realization setting in for someone like him and it's just like oh so it's a very good it's a very good series i recommend it it gives a good understanding of what 
the dinosaurs talking about in relation to the CIA and the whole drug um, epidemic. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Dinosaur from the Dinosaur and the Dude podcast. I just wanted to drop a little nugget of information for y'all. There is a Danish company uh, that supports my pre-gaming efforts each podcast. Uh, that's where I um, partake in some sweet, sweet Mary Jane. But um, they make all sorts of stuff that you can use to enhance your experience. They make grinders. They do papers. They do a grinder that you can actually grind it into a pipe. It's really kind of cool. Um, just go and check them out. Do us a favor. You can go to uh, the dinosaur and the dude uh, That's our website and click on links and sponsors. And then they're down there. Um, their name is Hoif and they are Danish. So I could be butchering that and hopefully I'm not, but um, just go and check it out and let me know what you think. Um, can we talk about no? <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about um, what? Can we talk about fucking hell? What was I going to say? Fucking hell, it just lost me. I mean, it just, I mean, it, yes, it lost me, obviously. It lost me. Right. I was like, I'm tired of her. Fuck it. My thoughts be given up on me. Oh God. <laughs> you know, we were, we were talking about drugs. We were talking about CIA. We were talking about conspiracy. I'm just trying to help you regain it. Um, we were talking oh, about um, marshmallows. Oh, no. who, who, okay. Do you, who do you think, um, what about Tupac? What do you think about Tupac? Oh, like what is, is like what alive? happened to him? Or no, he ain't alive. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. well yeah. clearly that part of the mystery is done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he is not well, alive. He ain't been alive, alive for a minute. But who was um, alive? Yeah. That... You got any ideas? Like uh, in regards to who did it? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think they got the guy that that is l most likely on doing it. I don't think that it was one person. I think that it was a group. No, 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 no. You can't pull that off of just being one person. Um, yeah, I think that it could have to do something somewhere, somehow tied into the great celebrity blackout of 2024. Yeah. So around that particular person, yeah, it, there's there's a aspect of where that could be the case. Um, there's two people in in relation to that that could be the case. As of recent, uh, yeah, um, mm -hmm. but I think they've isolated themselves. Nidia Drake, right? Uh, yeah, I, what's up? I'm sorry. What I said, Diddy did he, and Drake, right? Did he do what? <laughs> <laughs> See that? I think he may have. Girls? Um, yeah, I mean, but it's like to be that cut and dry where there's evidence to point. Here's you know, red-handed kind of evidence. That's that's where it gets well. Kind of that's where it gets kind of murky because anybody in any have you met Lee Harvey Oswald? Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. you know, they've been crafty for a minute. Because because the whole, it was interesting because that was like a time period where it was highly understood that you make way more as a studio, as a producer, as a manager, as a music industry, you make may, way more off of an artist when they're dead. Right, right, right. And isn't that became, sad though? It became very apparent because once. they're no longer people; they're commodities. Well, yeah. I mean, and honestly, back to the cogs in the machine, they always were. Once you and sign they knew that, it going in, you had once to you have sign that contract. Once you yep. sign that contract, it is a wrap. No pun, but they <laughs> you had it. You had it where people own the rights. Okay, so. If you're no longer around, that's one less person, you know, having to you know, if you're having to deal with with the rights. So you can just go ahead and rake in all this you want. Who cares about your mom staying building alive? She's going to be piecing out at, at eventually anyway. Right. And so you make a shit ton more once um, 
once once you don't have that artist to have to deal with anymore and and i think rest in peace whitney okay i mean i, but I think it gets to a point where you find artists that have that vulnerability already baked in you just gotta cultivate that vulnerability even more what you mean like mental illness when you have mental illness or they already have a drug habit or they have oh, a okay, okay, habit okay. that you can develop now they you know now they got something where oh it was an od oh wrong place at the wrong time they went and had a drug deal uh, you've got a means of making that artist not be a factor anymore but then still reap the benefits of their unreleased music it's it's fucked up but again right like i said it's a it's an industry it's a music industry and that shit, well, yeah and the one treasure's thing, always yeah. been sought you know what i mean yeah one thing's gonna be one thing's gonna survive and that money's down on the industry that will survive way longer than any artist and there's yes. been, i mean there's been several artists that try to do it on their own i mean hell that was the whole thing with prince he was doing things on it. That was the whole reason for the symbol. He show sure was, wasn't he? That was the whole reason for the symbol because he wasn't going to be bound by contracts. And when he realized that he didn't have rights to his music, uh, that's why he redid all of his stuff. So he's like, okay, I'm going to redo Purple Rain again. And See, I didn't that, know any of this. Yeah, that was the whole reason why he stopped using his name because they were like, yeah, Prince has got to put out. We own that. We own the rights to that. It's like, okay, fine. If I go buy a fucking unpronounceable symbol, now what? You can't make shit off of that. So that's all mine. An actual symbol? Yeah, when he went by the symbol and people started referring to him as the artist formerly known as Prince. Yeah. That's, that's why. Because his name was literally that symbol that he had. Oh, on. really? That's why he had the symbol on his face. It was like, and then he had the symbol and then on the other side he had slave because the that was the thing the industry was trying to like Jesus. hey the industry was doing to him what eventually they tried to do to dave Chappelle, and before people Man, like before people were like what the fuck? And cat williams dave Chappelle, and cat williams. well definitely to dave Chappelle because, for sure and he did not stand for it and i well, love right it. and and but he and Prince did the same thing. So here's the thing. Here's this thing that an industry will do. And they did the same. Like I said, they did the same thing with Dave Chappelle. It was like, hey, and so I'll use Dave Chappelle's instant. Okay, go hey, ahead. I love Dave Chappelle. Love the first ep love the first season. First season, uh, amazing. Oh, of Chappelle show? Yeah. Lightning. Crackhead Curtis, are you kidding me? Oh Light my god. Lightning in a bottle. Amazing. You just caught did. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Next season. Here you go. Check it out. Look at that on the table right there. 50 fucking million dollars. We already counted it for you. If you want to count it, go right ahead. We'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait. No, we'll sit here. We'll wait. Move your abacus. Yeah. Okay. It's 50, <laughs> 50 million, one. right? It's 50 oh, yeah. million. Yeah, it's 50 million, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Check it out. What you got to do, though, is you got to do. Um, Sign the contract, okay? 50 million is yours, but you got to guarantee that you can do better than season one. Well, that's it, the thing is, is that it's all perspective. And it's also, that, it's, no, also it's, it's also impossible. It's all, right. it's also impossible because then basically it's like at any point you can say, well, yeah, we know your eight episodes and it's just, it's, you know, started off good. But it's just not doing season. It's not doing better than season one. So you're basically. I would be like, go get better writers, then I guess. Because you're basically you're reneging on the contract. So we're gonna now penalize you. Say that. Don't say that. And so that's where it's like, as an, and so, and so for Prince, it's, it's like, okay, hey, so we want you to do Purple Rain numbers. We we want you to do that level. And, okay well and and then after that the next album do it better than that and then after that better than that and after that better that you can't go lower than this do you think that's why they started to go for really young stars like selena gomez um, she was a fucking child i don't know because prince was 19 when he did it when he started 
Yeah, but she was like 12. Right. I mean, I think the cultivation is different. I think well, yeah, because they kids can be conditioned. To... I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think the grooming is different. Oh, um, oh my God. Okay, yeah. did you hear about um, Will and Jada's kiddo? Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, I don't know what particular, but I've heard a lot. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I've heard a lot of, but just to stay on the previous point, because that's going Ooh. down a whole. Another rabbit hole. Li literally a dirty rabbit hole. Yeah. But it's easier to cultivate groom and um, capture kids younger. And, you know, they look at it. It's like, oh, look, we had Jackson and he was, Michael was so young. That's perfect. You get, because then you have a product that's generational. Yes. So you have a product that starts off as a kid. Okay, so the kids, you got the kids, and the kids looking at the kid, and they're at, they have aspirations. The kid, as this kid grows, these kids relate to this kid growing with mm -hmm. them as they go yeah. through teen, puberty, all that kind of stuff. So are they. And then meanwhile, that kid, if that kid has a younger sibling, that kid's sibling is also going to be into this into this artist as well because their sibling is into it and they want to be cool just like them right well and it's catchy and you know yeah sure I mean, and, and if they're doing music they're all over the place they hear it in commercials they hear it in movies it's a mm -hmm. concert da -da 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 -da. as this kid goes into late teens oh now they probably got an alcohol or a drug issue or something shady going on that they don't want or they got they got some weight issue they got this problem that problem they got something that's giving turmoil that with people like oh man they're going through hard times but they're gonna they're gonna get through it and so i love your i love your compassion and hold on i just have to tell you this i love your compassion and i love your support I think it's awesome. Keep going. So they got all these things. And then when they become an adult, like, oh man, I've been through with the journey with them. Yeah. Well, you got this generational fan base that grows with your crop. Meanwhile, you're rinsing and repeating this every other generation to have the same thing. And, Ooh, if, yeah. You have, yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you have this crazy talented person, like say Prince, or Michael Jackson, or fill in the blank with a boy group or a girl group. New Kids on the Block or whatever. Now you've got to where you've got fans all the time. And then if one of them does Pushing a solo. That gap. Yeah, that's a good. If somebody does a solo in a in a group, now you got another one. Mm. And it's, it's like when Beyonce left Destiny's well, like, Child. Like, like Beyonce and say, and, and but the, but then again, there you've got some possibly maybe in regards to that because not everybody that leaves a group becomes a Beyonce. And, right, right. And, I mean, right, right. I'm That's not true. shitting on him in any kind of way. I think that if he was sitting right next to me, he would agree. But you got Jason, Justin Timberlake's success and you got Beyonce's success. It's a little different. And some of that has to do with her being a female than a male because the sex appeal is different one versus the other. But well, he's doing pretty good for his damn I'm self. Saying, I mean, I'm I gotta say this he, homo was a fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he's not. Like that's I'm saying that he would agree though. There's a little bit of a difference from one artist breaking out to be solo versus another artist breaking out to be solo. There's a lot of different factors in it to where you can have two good performers with different outcomes in, in what is perceived as success from it. I know. I know. I'm just saying, you've heard Carrie out. I mean, that, that yeah, sounds... yeah. It's like, okay. Have you seen the video? Cause holy you, shit. You can go into an acting and he's a great actor. He's a great <gasps> performer. He's a great everything. I'd love, I, I, I really dig the dude. Good for Jessica. Good for her. I, I really dig the dude. It's this whole thing of where it's like Justin Timberlake and a man crush on him. And, uh, Beyonce, says a lot for me because I don't uh, have man crushes. And then, of course, then you look at NWA and Ice Cube. It's just like there's a different where you go into a solo thing. And, <laughs> and then the outcome is going to be a little bit different. Do you get more expression? Do you get more independence? Yeah, maybe. But again, 
there's one there's one finalist there's one survivor and that's the music industry it's it's going to continue so who do you think is on top on top on top who do you think is number one spot in the music industry all all time the, right now who do you think that is um uh, the producers the 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 people that own the rights to the music no no i was no no seriously what do you think no seriously artistically. i mean seriously because i know what you're saying they can pump that out and say hey look here's 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 print here's this track from 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 the beatles you can use that in your in your upcoming uh on your upcoming rap tra- uh, album just right you know do well can i yeah because i own the fucking rights you can do it okay cool and then when you do it i'm gonna get a fuckload more now because not only do i own the rights so i'm gonna get some royalties from that but then i got a whole new group of people that have just been introduced to something and they're gonna be like man where is that backtrack coming from and then boom they're back on my beatles again and now i got them buying the beatles and your rap albums so those people are really hey they're playing the game that's for sure really the ones that's why you always hear about some artists like giving up everything to get their to get their rights to their own like it doesn't make any sense when you say it out loud it's like you got an artist writing songs and coming up with stuff and then when they do it they don't really own it right and so that's why i say it like they're, that. They, it, it's they're bought unfortunately right right point. right and they're under a contract to produce so much within a certain period of time and that was the thing that prince was like they were like yo uh we you know what we're we're ready to make you he was, he was, he was like going to be president of warner or or he was like going to be you know head of warner kind of thing i think it was warner brothers he was going to be the head of it and they were like yeah we're all ready for you to do that but you still got to put out albums and you got to release this and you got to and it's like no nah. first off he's not into contracts he doesn't sign contracts and so secondly it's just like you all want to give yeah. me freedom to do what i've been doing before i even was with you all but now you want me to do it under your parameters and your nah i'm good oh okay so you don't want to do it no nah. Okay, well, we um own the rights to your shit, so we're like, it? enjoy. I'm doing it over. Right. So then you got an artist that will go back and do all this shit over. Like some artist just finished doing that herself. Uh, Taylor what Swift. Hmm? What's going on? What? Something is making a noise. Yeah, I hear it. You got music playing? Yeah, I did. Sorry. Oh, okay. It was a little relaxing music. Did yeah. you hear? Yeah, I heard it. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was licensed. Yeah, right. Good. Um, yeah, that's what's going to put me finished. in the federal. But Taylor Swift just got finished doing the same damn thing. Same yeah. damn thing. So that's why it's like I feel that there's the studios that and the and the executives in those studios that run the multiple studios. Those are the really those are really the ones that are on top because they're hustling sink or swim like if an artist ods or if an artist just sort of retires and doesn't do anything okay cool i still got your rights to your music still got your shit so that means that my artists can use that yeah like i can i can i can grant someone access to okay you can use that if you want to sure or i can or i can or like say for instance with DMX. Tell you that you have to use it. Or no, like say with DMX. Um at what 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 is that auto company using it in their commercials now? And so now you got a, a automotive company using DMX in their commercials. Oh. That dude's dead. He's not, you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody's cashing in on that. And now you're right. being ran in a commercial. Like, how much, how much money, how much cash would you be making off of that if you were, if that artist was in, available to do that? So, that's that's just my take on it. Like, how much is a is a person 
I, I guess if an artist is really making their own music and own their own studio and own production every in their rights, then yeah, they're making it on top. I don't know which artist is doing that to that level. Like um, the DIY, DIY thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's seen that way, but it's just sort of like on a on a on a business on a contract level, they can go into other studios, but they already are you know setting that pace by saying, yeah, I own the rights to all my music. Right. You know, is that? Well, you know, I mean, it's it's like keeping it kind of organic, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's that way, but it's just sort of like you're getting a lot of people over. Yeah, like they're not even over the barrel. You're getting a lot of people, and you're fucking them from the start <laughs> with with the candy. You're like, hey love your voice i can set you off in an amazing career and you you know with a voice like yours and a little bit of training you deserve it but it's going to take hard work and it's going to take some sacrifice but don't worry I, i've been through this before and i can hold your hand through the whole process you Ooh. sign with me okay that's easy you sign with me and listen i get it i get it you've heard horror stories i can hear it i can hear it your parents are right here we're going to need them to just go ahead and sign and make sure that you're they're okay with allowing you to work with me but all i'm going to say is 20 percent. i'm just going to take 20 percent. i'm really not taking it that's enough that i know is going to cover all the expenses to make sure that you don't have to worry about a goddamn thing okay right can i say goddamn mom and dad of course i can here sign <laughs> right here and we're going to get we're gonna get you, okay, on to having a star. Sound like a used car salesman. It's ooging me out. Onto a a star in the Hall of Fame before you know it. All right, and mom and dad are excited because their kids gonna make them money. Thank. They're gonna make them money, and they can think of all the trips they're gonna be taking. And then next thing you know, that kid is. Pushing, pushing heroin needles between their toes. Oh, man, you're selling it. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, so if you're, if that's you, kid, and you want to have a star, sign up and listen to the dinosaur and the dude, and you'll get <laughs> hot tips. We like are not this. giving you heroin. That is not hot happening. Tips like this every day. Heroin's on your own. You got to find your own heroin. But hot tips. <laughs> We got that in abundance. Yeah, I, mean, I got yeah, water. It's crazy. That's it what is you super. To hydrate. Yeah. Oh yay, man! I don't even know where we started, but I'm loving where we're at. Mm -hmm. We started with you asking me if I believed it. <laughs> Who do I believe shot Tupac? <laughs> 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 okay, so go on. Who do who you do, think? Who do you believe shot Tupac? Well, let me tell you. Uh <laughs> no, we talked about it. We talked about who did it. Yeah. Yeah. I think some of the same people that was, that that were involved with that, probably the same people that were involved with Biggie. I mean, like, like mm -hmm, keep, mm -hmm. keep this good shit rolling, man. Right. And it's just well, weird. It's just weird how that whole thing turned out and how music was made from the both of them after they were dead. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I'd be like, who is this new artist? Yeah. Hello. Like what? Uh, Pac put out. Pac had what? Two, three albums out, out after him? Yeah, he had a lot. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a crazy amount. And it and and people loved it, you know, sticking to the conspiracy serial part. People loved it because it's like, nah, this is new. Nah, listen to the lyrics. Oh, yeah. He's still alive. Nah, listen. Listen to how he says this. He's only saying this this way. Because he's alive. He wouldn't know. How would he be have known this was going on unless he saw it himself? Yeah, man, you're right. He's living. And like, that dude's been living in Cuba for a few years, yo. You don't really think he's alive, do you? If you do, that's kind of awesome because that means that you're a conspiracerialist eater. I as mean, well. the evidence of like the body double and all that kind of stuff. It's there for a reason, you know? Okay, you're saying it's possible it's got legs. Like if somebody has the means of making sure that they can just like say, you know what? Peace out. I need to I, I need to be away from this toxic shit that's going on. 
and you have the means and the destination to do that shit, okay, cool. I mean, fuck it. Last episode, we were talking about how Prince Harry was saying that about his own mom. Right. Yeah. And, and if any, and if every and if anybody had the means, she sure had the means to make shit disappear. That's true. Very, very true. And but if, unfortunately, she was the one that. I mean, but it's like my queen. If you have, if you have the means, and you're like, look, I, you know what? It would be probably best if I just peace out. And you're not thinking of it in a way of of where you're offing yourself but in a way you're offing yourself out of society in the sense that you you have this 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 level of toxicity i need to just sort of make it look like and you know if that if that narrative works out for the the good of other people and they go along with it then who knows? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not dancing in those circles where I can just, you know, pop off and get a wig and a fucking fake beard and and do different shit. And then for some, and then live somewhere where no one else is gonna say a damn word that I'm around. I I, I don't know how that works yet. You trying to figure it out though, if huh? If I get there, god damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you should just go. Just walk around and be like, like, hey, where'd he go? I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. Know. He was driving. He went through this car wash at the gas station and then the car came out and he wasn't in it. What? Yeah. <laughs> He's I, a wizard. <laughs> I think he got sucked up in the cat in the car wash machine. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Man sucked in a car wash machine and bodies never retrieved. And meanwhile, that's happened just, before. Yeah, yeah. And that was just me just, <laughs> just finding a way to escape. Kind of shitty, kind of sounds half baked, but that's what you can do on a budget. You just go Speaking through a half baked. Car, yeah, you kind of go through a car, <laughs> car wash machine and you're just like, all right, I'm going to hop out right here and everybody just pretend I got sucked up by the car wash machine. <laughs> <All> right, <cool. laughs> It sounds highly, you know, highly unlikely, but if you're on a limited budget, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> right. Uh, Here's an encrypted USB. Give it to my lawyer. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> hey, we'll man, be in touch. I only got $2,500. Uh, make, th make this work. Yeah. So that's how I see it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you shared. That's how I see it. But, um, what what else have we got? I don't know. I was gonna say, is this a good spot? Or do we? Mm. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm just vibing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I had something else, but I figure it can yeah, wait. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm saying I figured it could wait because it's kind of a a different rabbit hole. Mm. Yeah. Dare we? Or no? No. We're saving it. Yeah, it's savable. Okay. And plus, it's, it's not savable. every. It's not fully. I know I just said half baked, but I'm going to say it, you know, in another reference. It's not fully baked yet. It's like it's there, but it's not there. And I don't want to do half C's. Great movie, though. Half C's? Half baked. Oh, half baked, yeah. Dave Chappelle. Yes, full circle, bringing it back. Dave Chappelle. Yep. We're not full I got circle, you. but partial circle. Kind of circle. An yeah, arc. Kind of, we'll it's more. a kind of circle. <laughs> It's an apex or something. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's a semi-circle, not really. It's more like an oval. Uh, <laughs> it's a squoval. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck is a squoval? <laughs> you know, whenever nail salon started yeah. started being popular, yeah. Yeah. like back in the yeah. late yeah. When they, yeah. 80s, uh -huh. And you would go in there like in the early 90s and they, you would say, do you want it round or do you want it square? And then I would have to tell them, well, they should know if they were know what they were doing, but you, they would ask you. And so you would tell them and square nails did not look good on me, but round nails, I absolutely hate it. So I got squoval. <laughs> uh, see, uh, thank you. Thank you, because I You're was going to say was swovel like a, an egg shape, 
you know, like it's yeah, swollen, kind of, sort of. It's like on, a roundy box. It's like a swollen on 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 one end and not so much on the other. But you, from what you're saying, it's kind of like a rounded corner square. box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like it's trying so seriously hard to be square, but it's just not getting it. It got tired. You know, it got tired. Yeah, it's just worn out. Yeah, it's like, ugh, I'm gonna have to try this. I'm gonna have to try this again tomorrow. Right now, this is the best I can get. Speaking of talking about wearing my ass out, last Sunday, whenever I was with um, my friend, yeah. oh my god, we had so much fun. Ugh, Jesus. so much fun. You needed to be there. Jesus, never mind, everybody. Um, <laughs> for everybody that jumped in some sort of is it anal code? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't even have a bandana on me. It's so. not, There's... but then again maybe so <laughs> right right exactly um but okay Ugh. everyone thanks for joining us <laughs> fantastic uh exploration of the mind that we call the dinosaur and the dude sorry. and in case you forgot or knew or whatever do not forget she's the dinosaur it's me all. and i am the fucking dude and we thank you for listening to every bit or some bit or enough of a bit in order for Five you, seconds for youtube to count it as a view we appreciate you uh checking us out feel free to check you should out. send this to your grandma yeah i mean really what's going to happen not a whole lot check us out she's more. seen it she's heard it and when you're doing it check it out let it let her go to the dinosaur and the dude.com for all the merch and all the episodes she can find it all and enjoy it uh be on the watch for if you don't know already where patreon will be you'll be able to find that on the dinosaur, the dinosaur and the dude.com yeah. so it's all there just go yeah. there that's the only thing that you need to do it's, make that your home yeah. screen we've been over this before yeah. it's not that hard nope. and i know some of you fuckers hadn't done it yet mm -mm. so go ahead and do it just mm -hmm. click the little star mm. and we're going to be right there for Done. you we'll be your support Done. system if you need something just email us and Done. if we can help you we can we done. will done there's no need there's no need for lube or suppositories done mm -hmm. it's raw dog we just jump in already there and with that Feet first with that make sure that you love yourself because mm -hmm. we love you. We love you. And you can you can do it with lotion or not. It's up to you. It's you know what? Okay. It's up to you. I suggest organic coconut oil. It's up but to that's you. just me cold it's, pressed. No, you mind? no. Room temp. No, I think we should change it and say it's up to you. Because if you live in certain states, you might not be able to afford that motherfucking high ass coconut. That's right. And or, you could be like a sick fucker. You, you want like, 409 on there or something. You know what I mean? Or, <laughs> Okay, because I was gonna say that we'd be forty, but four or nine. Never mind. We both had, we both had a number. We both had products with numbers in it. I think mine was a bit more stringent. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Not I don't lubricated. Know. I, I so much. I don't. I don't know. I honestly can say I don't know what either one of those would do to genitalia. Four oh nine or WD forty. So. <laughs> Ugh, but you know what? Disturbing. But you know what? I'm pretty sure hmm. there's a sick fuck out there that has probably tried. So with that, right? Thanks to you, dudes, dudes, lady boys, and lady girl. Chickahoes, and chickahoes. Thank you all for listening to us. Feel free to listen to us again. We really, really appreciate it. And ask you to kindly with our hands together in a prayer fashion to please check us out. Again, this is the dinosaur and the dude, and we thank you. And that's it. Check it out. All right, lady, lady love you. Love you too. Okay, thank no, you so much no, for tonight. Sorry about yesterday. I no, was... don't. I was just gonna say, try not to rage too much. I don't want to see you on on the on the news. On the news. That way. I just won't go out and deal with public people because okay. like, I'll start popping okay. children in the head. All right. Well, just don't. So, okay. Just don't seek out your retirement plan too soon. I won't. I won't. It's not time right. for me yet. I still got the grind in me. Okay. All right. Uh, love I love you. you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye.